Welcome back friends. Let's build up your skills on equivalent fractions. I have some handy models to help you understand equivalent fractions better today. Let's get started. Here we have the fraction 1 fourth. It is modeled on a fraction circle. We need to determine which of these other three models are equivalent to 1 fourth. Let's look for a model that shows the same area being covered in the model. This one has too much being covered, so does this one. The middle one has the same area being covered, but it has way more pieces than 4. That is what makes an equivalent fraction. The number of pieces can be different, so long as it represents the same amount of the whole. This shape has 8 total pieces and 2 are shaded in. This means 1 fourth is equivalent to 2 eighths. Great work! Let's take a look at another example. Here we have 2 thirds. Which of the three models is equivalent to 2 thirds? It looks like this one is. It has more pieces, but it is covering the same amount of the whole. This model has 6 pieces and 4 are shaded in. This means 4 sixths is equivalent to 2 thirds. Now let's talk about a very specific type of equivalent fractions, these are fractions with denominators of 10 and 100. These fractions are fun to work with, because we are just adding or taking away zeros when we move from 10 to 100. Let's look at the fraction 40 hundredths. If we wanted to find the equivalent fraction in tenths, we need to change our denominator to 10. All we did was divide by 10. Whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. 40 divided by 10 is 4. 4 tenths is equivalent to 40 hundredths. Great work friends! You are ready to practice with equivalent fractions on your own. Have fun out there!